Uh, we have a camp every year um, that's based in digital media, but usually we don't have a camp that's specifically centered on animation. It's usually a much broader camp. But what we found is that for kids um, who want to go into animation, usually they lack the bridge skills that they need to really be properly prepared either for college or for a career. And so what we want to do is make sure that the kids had an opportunity to build on those skills and create something that they could take with them and it could become sort of a part of their portfolio of work as they grow. So four years ago, um, we started our collaboration with Animaction, um, which is a group out of California that does teaching of animation for cause-based um, issues for schools. So usually the students get together, they learn the process of hand-drawn animation, and they make a, a PSA or public service announcement around a specific cause. Um, we came to the attention of Animaction about four years ago uh, after Hurricane Katrina. Um, and we started a program with them where we had animation collaboration for a cause. The first one was about Hurricane Katrina and the students that came in had been affected by Hurricane Katrina in some way. So most of them were either displaced students or they were living with someone who was displaced or they had moved um, very suddenly from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. Um, and, and what we did is we had them tell their stories and remarkably the stories that they told were not, they weren't, you know, they weren't sad stories. They weren't these kinds of stories like, oh, I got rescued from my roof. They were hopeful and really aspirational stories of students who had been seriously affected by the storm, but they wanted to do things like save the animals. They wanted to prevent other children from ever having to go through a, a situation like that again. So it became an inspiration for us that really the best people to help other people prepare or think about um, problems like this are kids. The best way to get kids talking to kids is through these kinds of programs to show what they can do. Um, so it's been very successful and, and we started with Animaction four years ago. They're an incredible partner. I would recommend them to any, anyone that wants to teach animation either to adults or to kids. Um, one of the best things about animation as a medium is it's fairly anonymous but still very, very meaningful. So we had one child in our first program who was, um, had literally been rescued from the roof of her house and she made this film and the teacher told us the first time that this, that this young girl had communicated since the storm. And the reason was because it wasn't focused on her. It wasn't a camera in her face. It was her drawing out her story, telling her story without it having to be about her, without having had that discomfort of the attention being directed, literally directly on her. Um, and so it's a very powerful medium because of that. LSU started um, thinking about digital media a long time ago. We started talking about having a digital media curriculum um, about five years ago when the Laboratory for Creative Arts and Technology was really starting to get going. It had already existed in different forms at LSU over, over the last 10 years, but we really wanted to concentrate it better. Um, and Red, the Red Stick Animation Festival was part of that, but it became clear not long after we started the Red Stick Festival that we really needed to have a more concentrated effort to build a workforce in Louisiana. Um, digital media happens to be one of those disciplines globally where there's just a shortage of knowledge workers, there's a shortage of people who know how to do this work. And we learned quickly, um, and by talking to people in industry, that part of that shortage is because you don't, it's, a, it's a career that you begin in college. You don't walk into college typically with the skills or the, the reference space that you need to go into animation and be successful at it. So, you know, whereas if you go into an art program, you've probably been drawing since kindergarten. Um, if you go into a mathematics program, an engineering program, you've been doing mathematics since you were in kindergarten or first grade. But in animation, it's unlikely that you've been thinking about squash and stretch. It's unlikely that you've been thinking about narration and story. It's unlikely that you've been thinking about things like um, how particles interact in a software program. And so in order to kind of leapfrog kids uh, into being prepared for those kinds of careers, we start them where all of the industry says that they should start, which is understanding the basics of animation um, and understanding it by drawing. Because regardless of how much animation is done in computers now, um, it's still all fundamentally back to the art skills that are required. And from there you build on your art and your science and technology and you make beautiful things. One of our economic development goals has definitely been to build a skilled workforce, not only around animation as an art form, but also around animation as, as filmmaking or storytelling. Because you need animation skills to work in any area these days where you have to tell a story um, using a digital media or film medium. Um, you cannot 
for example, do a news story and not interact with digital content. You, you can't do um, a, a film or tell a story effectively about molecules without showing some sort of design or showing some sort of structure that shows how the molecules interact with each other. An animator is the one who does that work. We don't really have great cameras to look at cells and, and show potential interactions. You can only show what is. Um, so these, these level of skills, by getting students ready early, we are preparing them for careers um, that we hope will help keep them in Louisiana. We, we believe that Louisiana can be very com competitive in this space. We have digital media tax credits that allow for companies to take advantage of um, our economy in order to, to uh, increase their, their, their base. But one of the best things about it for us is we want to keep our young, talented, smart people in Louisiana. All too often, they graduate from college and then they leave to go get interesting jobs. There's absolutely no reason why in this economy, with the internet and all the other infrastructure that exists, that those jobs can't be here in Louisiana.